Research Methodology and Data Analysis Lesson 5 The Sampling Design Simple Random Sampling, 4 Steps A. The definition of target population from which the researcher wants to select a sample for research B. The list of all elements in the population this list is sometimes called a sampling frame form which the sample will be selected. For example, a complete list of marketing students in UITM is a sampling frame. C. The assignment of number to each element of the population. In this example, the numerical list represents the member of the population, list of marketing students. D. The use of a criterion to select the sample. A. Obtain the table of random numbers, manual procedure. B. Obtain random numbers from a computer, automatic procedure. C. Match the random numbers obtained to the numerical list of students and select these students as the respondents for data collection or further research activities. D. The respondents selected this way are totally random, hence the problem of biasness does not arise. Simple random sampling not practical if a. It requires a sampling frame that is often not available. b. The sampling fails to use all the information of a population that might result a waste of the design. c. It may take lots of time and not cost effective. For process of systematic sampling a. Selection process I determine the size of population, n. 2. Determine the required sample size, n. 3. Determine the interval, k, when k is the ratio between the size of population and size of sample, k equals n slash n. For example if n equals 500 and n equals 25. In this case, k equals 500 slash 25 equals 20. B. Select one random number between 1 to K, in this example from 1 to 20. Let's say, number 5 happens to be randomly selected here. Then the first respondent for the study is person number 5 on the sampling frame. C. Then, the following respondents are K plus 5, K plus, K plus 5, and so on until the 20th respondent is selected since the sample size is 20. For process of systematic sampling. In this example, the 20 respondents would be obtained based on the following numbers on the sampling frame. The process of stratified sampling. A. Specify the strata, elements within the same strata is homogeneous, and elements between strata is heterogeneous. B. Assign the elements according to the strata having the similar characteristics of interest in the study. C. Now we can select the sample within each strata using simple random sampling since the population is already uniform. D. The number of samples from each stratum must be proportionate to the number of units in that stratum. For example, a study is to be conducted on the investors who made their investment in the Amana Saham Bumipudera, ASB, in January 2008. The study wants to look specifically on how the marital status of investors influences their investment decision in ASB. The process of stratified sampling. In this case, the population of investors is heterogeneous in terms of their marital status namely single, married, divorced, and widowed. Thus, the researcher needs to stratify them according to their marital status before the sample from each stratum can be selected. Now the investors in the same stratum have similar characteristics. S. The stratified sampling process. Cluster sampling 
Cluster sampling is the probability sampling technique applicable when the study covers a large geographical area, the population is not homogeneous, and the sampling frame is not available. Please continue the following lesson. Thank you for watching.